Hey everybody, Texas Truck here, Lance's Performance Shop, LoneStarMopars.com. It is Thursday nights, been super busy at work. Uh, we just cranked out our first ever Weeha tool haul video. Weeha, if you want to be technically correct. But uh, the, the granddaddy of them all, the main reason for placing the order is what they call their big deal. And I would have to say it is a pretty big deal because of the price point. Now, based on my limited usage of VHA screwdrivers, I have been impressed. I have no reason to think that these would be any substandard than that. Similarly, even if they are, this is cheap enough that it doesn't really matter. Uh, these are an insulated set of screwdrivers. We've got seven pieces. Uh, we've got four slotted, three Phillips. We'll take a more detailed look here in a second. Part number for this particular set, it is going to be 32099 price. Again, $24.99. Standard retail price, $59.99. Do the math. 60 bucks for seven screwdrivers. You're coming in just shy of $9.00. Uh, per screwdriver drop that all the way down not even half off to 30 bucks but a little bit more than that all the way down to 24.99 seven screwdrivers 24.99 we're somewhere between three and four dollars a screwdriver that's a pretty good deal when you consider a the quality of the brand and two the fact that these are insulated this isn't just like the acetate handles that they're putting on liquidation this is an insulated set of screwdrivers from a reputable company that's not going to suck for $25. And that's something I think everyone can get behind. If you need an insulated screwdriver, even if you needed two, I was looking at a couple of sets just to bring them in. I was gonna get a number two Phillips and I was gonna get like a big one like for panel style stuff. And uh, you're typically looking at 15 to 25 for the two piece set. This is seven pieces for 25. If you get these and you hate them for whatever reason, 25 for 7, that's like beater price territory. So you are kind of can't go wrong. If you get these, you love the fit, you love the finish, you love the feel, you love the fact that they're insulated and you finally have safe tools for your apparently dangerous job or forgetful ways, this has you covered. If you get these out, you hate the feel, you hate the finish, uh, you don't have any need for an insulated screwdriver, make them your chisels, make them your pry bar, you know? Maybe that'll protect the shaft from breaking. I don't know. But it's one of those things you just really can't go wrong with something like this. So, Viha insulated seven-piece set. We've got slotted in, dun, 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 starting here, 3.5, 4.0, 5.5, and 6.5 millimeter, respectively. On the Phillips side, we have got one, two, and three. Uh, all six on the perimeter are good. You can see them branding on them. This one's turned a little bit. Uh, it's just, I guess, the blister pack's not quite tight enough on it. Something pretty neat right here. You've got pH 3 by 150. That's, of course, metric. So we've got a number three Phillips. So we've got a six inch shaft. That's going to be 150 millimeters, basically. Uh, when you see the 100, that's going to be basically a four inch shaft. Uh, we've kind of covered that in detail. The tiny little number one is 80 millimeter. Uh, this guy here, I can't see. Okay, that's 100 millimeter. Really? Did not expect that. Uh, this one right here, it's also going to be 6 inch. Our uh, five and a half is going to be 125, and then our six and a half is going to be 150. So you can kind of see the steps down on the slotted set very nicely. Flipping it around to the back, what are some selling points, you ask? Well, these are 10,000 volt tested and 1,000 volt rated. Now, 1,000 volts, you know, for the majority of people, uh, and it may not be enough to necessitate it. You know, you're going to be, in my case, automotive stuff. This is going to prevent you from basically frying a wire. 12 volts, yeah, it'll shock you, but it's not going to be super bad. <laughs> you know, uh, 110, 220, 480, that type of stuff, that's not so good. Uh, this will potentially... <laughs> There are different scenarios where you would die or, you know, just have a really, really big scare. But uh, if you're getting up to 1,000 volts or 10,000 volts, that's some pretty serious stuff. I don't know how they test it uh, at that level, but yay, you know. Uh, we're mainly concerned about 12 volts here for the most part. So this meets the ASTM F1505 EN IEC 60900 CSA VDE OSHA and NFPA 70E specs. A lot of that's probably European. Each tool individually tested to 10,000 volts and rated to 1,000 volts AC or 1,500 volts DC. This is the cushion grip for maximum torque. This is basically akin to their soft grip stuff, right? Uh, that's their top of the line. It's a chrome bandium molybindum tool steel, which basically that translates to really good. 
Uh, it's made in Germany, which is pretty neat. A lot of people will appreciate that. Again, there are the specs. Uh, soft finish handles, solid molded core with outer, uh, soft outer cushion grip, 40% more torque than conventional handles. It's a multi-component handle with a cushion grip. Blade again, CVM tool steel hardened to average 5860 HRC. Uh, Weha Chromo top tips. They've got a ton of insulated tools if you're unaware. If this is your jam, if red and yellow McDonald's clown colors is your thing, you're not even an electrician. You're not in threat of being shocked. You just, this is your color scheme for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know what you do on the weekends. Maybe you're like a, a birthday clown or something. This is your tool line. Just get insulated. Wait till they're on sale. Save a little bit maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, what I'm going to do here, I will cut the blister pack off camera. I will kind of showcase these. I'll go grab some of the soft finish handles and a couple of their others so we can sort of compare and contrast the lineup here. But uh, we shall be right back and wrap this one up. You know, something's just not quite right, is it? There we go. Oh! You might have been looking for those. So, uh, the good news is blister pack, pretty easy to open, no pain at all. That said, you've got a nice, this, ooh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's it's the soft grip, it's the cushion grip. So, um, the insulated part, it's a pretty hard plastic from what I can tell. Uh, not quite what I had expected, but hey, I mean, at this price point, I can't really complain. Uh, coming in here, you've got the VHA branded logo. Again, very cool that you not only have this visible, visible, there we go. <laughs> you can see the uh, tip size, you can see the overall length. Come down here, you've got another Weha logo. If we spin it first, you've got all your ratings, I guess if you ever have to, uh, there's a foreman or somebody, you have to come by and prove things. Flip it to this side, I did not show you this in the packaging. Come on. There we go. Just for this guy, we're going to do that. Right. You can you can use your imagination there, can't you? <laughs> You've got again slotted it right, indicated by the big symbol in the circle. 1.2 by 6.5. That's what we're looking for. So that is our big slotted. We'll set that guy down. That's actually not the big slotted. This is the big nope, nope. <laughs> that was. They all just look like a pile of condiments right now, okay? And just lay off. Uh geez, and then they blend in with the mat too. This is slotted. There we go. Let's let's do this again. Just ignore what you saw. But you didn't, because it was zoomed in. And we're going to zoom back out. Cool. <laughs> so, uh, right here, this is going to be our next slotted size. There it is, focusing. It's about time. There we go. Then this guy right here. Now, this was a thing. Like, these two sizes, I'm good with, right? That's going to be comfortable in my hand. I know from previous experience. This guy right here, I don't know. It's, uh, it's actually not too bad. It's not as good. I'm kind of you can see I'm kind of holding it like an awl or a pin <laughs> right now uh, I do have bigger hands than most people but uh, it's one of those things I think I would adjust to it uh, truth be told I'm almost always going to use these two unless it's just mandatory that we have something that size now if you were concerned by the size of that one or you have really small hands check it out <laughs> you got the little guy here uh, he does seem to have a little bit more of the tip exposed, but I guess that could just be by the uh, scaling down. Once again, you can see the indicated markings there, so if you've got this in a tool bag, you can easily identify it. Granted, with the different sizes of the handles, that might not be that big of an issue. We will place that there. Something, there's uh, no hanger on these. Uh, that could be good or bad, depending on how you feel about it. But uh, you are going to be safe, and that's the biggest thing when you buy an insulated tool. So right here we have our number three Phillips. That's the size of this fits my hand perfectly. I really, really like the way that one feels. I would have no issues at all uh, moving around number three screws, which I can't think of the last time I've had to deal with a number three screw in an electrical situation. Uh, short of you purchasing like a third-hand boat or something along those lines. Uh, that's got wood patches in it with hand-laid fiberglass, but that's another story. Uh, right here we've got a number two Phillips. This guy is going to be the most heavily used along with probably the big slotted, at least for me personally here around the house and in the shop. But I've got to say, this is a good feel, it's a good finish. And again, if I'm, let's say, under the dash of the charger, right, and the battery's still connected, I'm just going in to add... 
I don't know, we'll say a boost gauge or something, right? And so we're tapping in for our power supply. We've got the ground with a standard screwdriver, like this one right here, which I still love, even though it's cheaper. Uh, we would arc across, and that's either going to create sparks or a fire wire. And the fire wires are not good. I had one of those when I was a kid. It was done with a ratchet, not a screwdriver. Uh, a 440 and a B body still doesn't leave a lot of space when the bulkhead connector is there. And uh, I was simply trying to change the valve cover gasket and uh, the 3H ratchet <laughs> made contact with the bulkhead connector unbeknownst to me and the wire which feeds off and runs to the battery terminal, positive side right, not your cable but the wire feeding in, that was on fire and uh, luckily I was able to rip that off otherwise there would have been a really big explosion. <laughs> it would not have been good for me. Uh, much less the car. I probably would have been okay. Not so much about the car, and that would have sucked. So, uh, right here, though, I'll probably get a lot of action. It'll probably be the most used, I would say. Um, if I was at work, it would be the slotted, but around the house, it'll be the number two Phillips. So, coming down, though, we do have a number one Phillips, which that's kind of cool. The good thing about these, if you're ever on the job site, or even if you're strictly limited to automotive electronics, Maybe you do security systems, uh, alarms, stereos, backup cameras, all that kind of stuff. These are going to be high vis. It's not like, you know, if you've got like black Craftsman or Sunex handle type stuff. These insulated tools, they could save you a little bit of trouble, uh, keep you from frying a customer's stuff. And more importantly, they stick out like a sore thumb, whether that's good or bad. But colors aside, this is a heck of a deal. 25 bucks for a seven piece set of screwdrivers from a reputable brand that I've had good luck with personally and that's insulated. That, uh, that's one of those things, again, you just can't really go wrong picking it up. So, included with my order, I think it's if you clip 50 or or $100, I don't exactly know, but I got this for free. Uh, it's item number 91471, and this is the soft finish bottle opener, but the catch is this is not in the traditional red and black color scheme you would expect from a soft finish handle. This is actually in the insulated style, right? Which sort of makes it unique. It stands out that much more. Sort of a cool little novelty. And uh, it's pretty robust. It actually feels really good. That's not going anywhere. Um, so there's that. You can throw that in the kitchen, keep it in the shop, whatever floats your boat. That could be yours if you hit the threshold. I don't know if other distributors would include that. Probably not. If you go direct and you meet the threshold, you're good to go on that route. But uh, let's do a little comparison here. So, we're going to start with the soft finish. Not the soft finish. We're going to start with the micro finish is what I meant to say. This one is specifically designed for... Hi, I just put my hand in the pan of transmission fluid and I need a screwdriver. <laughs> That's where this is going to shine. Uh, personally, I wipe my hands off, but I guess if I was ever in a situation where I couldn't, uh, or you know, it was a situation I needed to get a drain plug or whatever back in and it involved a screwdriver, you want to go the route of the micro finish. That's sort of where this comes in. Since I wanted to just try out this finish of the handle, I got this really, really long one <laughs> with a number two tip, uh, which will give it limited use, but hey, underneath the car when I have to come up in, uh, it should come in handy. Yeah. I don't know, man. Like, the insulate, uh, get red and yellow, you know, universal coloring. That's just a bad color scheme. Now, something that I, even though red and black is not my color scheme, am a fan of is the Weeha Soft Finish. This is sort of like their top of the line, if you will. And it feels great in your hand. It's a step up from what I actually like better. And this one in particular, if you did not know that they have this, you can find it on kctoolco.com. Check that out. I can't tell you how many times I've used this, not only in the frame rail, but when I'm like trying to uh, determine the length on a backer that I need uh, for toggle switches and stuff. This comes in really, really handy, and it beats trying to just jury-rig something else. Uh, so they do, it's called the Viha Measure Up, but so the main reason it's here right now is so you can compare and contrast it uh, to the insulated handle. So aesthetically, we have a clean-cut winner, at least for me personally. I'm curious. Out of these three, and be honest, which one would you prefer uh, aesthetically? Set everything else aside, if let's say this insulated style was available and just a standard screwdriver, the red and yellow color scheme, would any of you actually purchase it? And would you do so as like a joke? Or would it be like, hey, that's my favorite colors? Um, because again, when I see that, it's just, I don't think of like insulated. I just see those colors and it's McDonald's, right? 
It's like French fries and ketchup, Ronald McDonald. I don't know why. I guess it's the era I grew up in or something. But uh, I appreciate what they're doing, trying to like, you know, dumb it down and just everyone, oh, it's insulated, it's safe, right? Uh, but man, sometimes like black and silver would have been cool, you know? I don't know. Uh, but these two colors, man, yeah, I don't know. This one though, even though red and black's not my thing, I love it. However, how weird am I? I love the colors of this one. This is cheaper. This is significantly less money than any of these. The micro finish, the soft finish, the insulated. This is kind of like the low, <laughs> low dollar option on the block, and I love it. I absolutely love this Pro Turn. I love the handle. It fits me perfectly. That extra bulge is kind of how you can differentiate it. Uh, the color scheme I like better. If the insulated would have been in blue and black, or if that would have been an option, like if you don't have to be certified or meet standards, or OSHA man's going to come. <laughs> tack your company with fines type of a deal i love this so viha this is the one i have used the most out of everything i brought in it's it's wearing the black a little bit but i mean the tip itself is fine uh, so the coating you can kind of see some wear and tear i have used this a lot in the limited time i've had it so that's kind of a comparison on the handles if you were just wanting to sort of have that information um, compare and contrast type of a deal truth be told though this is basically an eight dollar screwdriver i think that's around 10 bucks because it's the measure up which is really handy pick that thing up next time you order just maybe to get free freight or whatever you will use it more than you think this one i think was around 12 bucks uh, probably just because it's a ridiculously long shaft which i'm sure at some point in time i will be glad that we've got as it'll come in handy but think about this that's over $25 for these three screwdrivers. We'll just say 8, 10, and 12. So we're sitting at 30, right? Seven piece insulated for 25. That's why it's here. That's why I ordered them. That is just, it's an amazing deal. And uh, if it was some off brand Chinese knockoff stuff at Walmart, yeah, you're going to pass on that if it's Harbor Freight. And this is Viha. This is a quality screwdriver uh, and it's insulated. All I can complain about is the color scheme, and that's kind of not on them, <laughs> all right? So, uh, with that said, I hope this helps you out. Again, if you do not have this set, if you were in need of insulated screwdrivers, if you wanted to try out VHA, this is a great introductory option because seven pieces, 25 bucks, you get four slotted, one, two, and three Phillips. Of course, if you need this for your line of work, insulated tools, uh, if you bring these in and you like it, they have a ton, and I do mean a ton of insulated options. I think you can get pretty much everything in this finish, Torx, ball end, hex stuff, whatever you need. Uh, so if this is sort of your gateway into the VHA insulated tools, you have a huge opening uh, of options. In fact, this is probably a good time. I requested some more literature uh, when I ordered, or maybe they just include it anyway. Either way, we got it, so that's cool. This is a 50-piece set. You can see they've got the nut drivers, uh, they've got some of their pliers, tons and tons of assorted sizes of screwdrivers here, a voltage tester, uh, they've got T-handles. Uh, some of these line pin pliers they have, I kind of wanted to try. I was a little turned off, they came from Vietnam. Uh, but if I can find a decent price on them, I'll probably bring them in. And again, the main thing is just insulated. You can see they've got a lot of bits showcased. They've got the, I think the Pro Turn might even cost more than this one. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> I know it's weird to have like the top of the line and you know the even more expensive and be like, yeah, I like this one, but hey, you know, at least you know I am honest, right? So there's more of the Pro Turn. You can see their Torx stuff. I'd imagine they have the uh, Torx line in their insulated handles as well. You can see some of the L keys, lots and lots of L keys. Uh, we'll flip that over. There's some T handles. Um, got some more. There's some soft finish uh, metric ball ends. This right here is something I kind of wanted to showcase to you because, again, this would be another good entry point for you to check things out. People don't seem to know, but there's like different options with their 26 in one driver. Now, the bits, if I understand correctly, they're not interchangeable, they're like an extra long length to fit in there. Uh, and then it's all kind of specialized, so that part kind of sucks. But if you're looking for like a utilitarian screwdriver to keep in your glove box or your desk drawers, so you don't have to run out to your garage or your shop type of a thing, this would be really hard to beat, and there's different options with it. Uh, there's the Security Bits Ultra Driver. You can kind of see what's included with it. You come over here, the Tradesman, you can kind of see there, that's probably going to work for the vast majority of regular folk. <laughs> Uh, the technicians one that would be another decent option and then right here the industrial 
So there's actually four different setups here. These three would probably be the most common, uh, commonly purchased. They're all around 23 bucks right now, which is a pretty good price. But pay attention because don't just come in like on Amazon and wind up buying this. You're like, oh wow, you know, 26 bits, that's amazing. Take a look at your other options and uh, probably go elsewhere. But it's a situation where even on Amazon, if you've got the part number or you spend a little extra time, you can get a better set of bits that would suit your applications and what you're actually going to do. Uh, and I would highly recommend you uh, take that into consideration before you shell out. You can spend 23 bucks and have something that's kind of handy, or you can spend 23 bucks a little bit more time and have something that's very handy. Uh, this is also another, if you bring in like one, like the measure up, and you're like, man, this is the best handle I've ever had. The tip's amazing. It's a situation. This is actually a pretty good deal. You get a set of screwdrivers plus some by cuts, <laughs> which is nice. Uh, there's some of their water pump pliers. You can kind of see in the insulated color scheme. And back here, you kind of have like their water pump slash uh, Cobra knockoff type of stuff. But $25, man, that is insane. Right here, this, literally, great pricing from KC Tool Co. for these three screwdrivers. It exceeds the seven-piece set of insulated drivers. I have no complaints. I will try to use these, as awkward as it will be for, like, everyday usage, uh, just to get some wear on them. I want to kind of see how this coating holds up, if it's any different uh, than, say, this Pro Turn one, which, like I said, that one does have some wear on it, but it's just the coating. Tip itself is still immaculate. Uh, this is a number three versus a number two, obviously, if you're wondering about the size differentials there. But, again, this will arc, this will not. Take your pick, right? <laughs> Just the better thing to do is, you know, turn the power off, disconnect the battery. But hey, sometimes, especially in like an industrial setting, you turn the power off, unbeknownst to you when you're in the middle of doing something, someone else turns it on. That's where you, that's where these really, really shine. But uh, hey, it's one of those deals. We've got insulated screwdrivers, a seven piece set from a quality brand that we've had good luck with personally for $25. You can't go wrong. And you get a free bottle opener if you hit certain thresholds. So pay attention to that. Uh, it is available at KC Tool. You could probably get it at Amazon. Any distributor, I suppose, would have it. But something I did, I'm not exactly sure what, but we hit a threshold where that was free. <laughs> so $25, I can't complain, and a free bottle opener. I have no issues with any of it. So hopefully this lets you know this is out there. How did I find out about the deal? I follow them on Twitter. <laughs> so uh, Twitter is kind of what I prefer. It's just short and sweet and to the point, kind of unlike myself a lot of times. But uh, one day I was scrolling through and it was a deal where they said, our big deal is here. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, more more marketing, huh? And uh, I saw that and I was like, really? $25 for a seven-piece insulated set? I'm happy. <laughs> so uh, if you did not know about this, there's no real cutoff date. It's just while supplies last, which I have no idea how long that'll be, sadly. If you want in on it, go for it. Again, I don't think you can go wrong. If this is the worst screwdriver you've ever had, if you hate the handle, if it's too bulky, if it's too spongy, whatever complaint you have, turn this into your junker set. At $25 for a seven-piece set, you cannot go wrong. You're either going to love it and it's the steel, or you hate it and you've got a really, really good quality set of beaters. Uh, so I will leave it at that, man, but I'm happy with it. These will probably be the least used screwdrivers I've got, but when I do need them, they will be appreciated. So uh, sort of like the hose clamp pliers, right? I'm not going to use them near as much as anything else, but when I do need them, man, am I glad we've got them. So with that said, hopefully this helps you out. If you've got this set, let me know. If you've got another set of insulated screwdrivers that you like, post that up. If you've got and got to use multiple sets and you prefer one over the other, if you know the shortcomings, the pros and cons of every single set out there, by all means, share the knowledge. Help people make the best decision for them uh, and save some money along the way. So I just kind of jump into it blind because I enjoy it and think it's cool. And uh, this, like I said, I can't go wrong. <laughs> Even with the McDonald's color scheme, I can't go wrong. So uh, I will leave it at that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. We certainly appreciate your support. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, circle us on Google+, subscribe here on YouTube, ring the bell, jump through the third hoop. I'm not sure what's off the cliff, but uh, it's probably coming here on YouTube. So uh, spread the word on the channel, spread the word on this great deal, honestly. If nothing else, just pick this up for yourself, tell your friends that would be interested, because I really genuinely believe that's a great deal. So these weren't sent out, I paid for them, I ordered them, they came to me from Minnesota, and... Uh, 
that's just honestly a great deal. So I will leave it at that. Hope you enjoy. If you pick these up, let me know what you think of them. We'll catch you back here for more action from the shop.